Welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela, and I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Uh, today we're going to work. It is another Wallpaper Wednesday, so I'm going to talk a little bit about covers, and then I thought we might do some embellishing on my Beachy Traveler's Notebook today. But before we do, as always, thank you to all of you who subscribe, who follow, who comment, and specifically today, thank you to Lena, to Cheryl, and Claudia. I appreciate you very much. Now, before we go much further, I wanted to share a few more things that came via mail. And I have to tell you, I went through this. And then guess what happened? My alarm went off and I had to start over because I was like, I don't want to have to edit. I'd rather just start over. We hadn't got very far into it. So this little package came from Lena all the way from Australia. And she's got some little pieces of it looks like she was doing jelly print, which I am not good at. Um, this almost looks like she might have used some jelly print, but it also looks like she did a little doodle and maybe used alcohol inks or possibly watercolors in that on the little tag. We've got this cute little Victorian lady. And then a ticket. And then this is super cute. If you've not tried this, you should. She sewed each piece, but these were all scraps, it looks like, that she had, and she just sewed them together, which makes a cute journaling card, an embellishment. You could do a cluster on there. Super, super cute. And then this string is, it's it's different. It's not like yarn, but it's not like twine, and it's not embroidery floss. So it's just kind of really cool. So these are the ones that I set aside for future projects, but what I found for... Uh, let's see. I found these pretty fabrics and her goodies that I think will go in the beachy, uh, journal. And then she sent these cute little pieces of flora and some additional fabric that I think will go in the journal. I'm going to show you in a minute, as well as this fabric, which is almost see-through. And then this is my favorite. Look at this, you guys. So she is, it looks like she has laminated this and then sewn around it. And there it says Australian wildflowers. So she dried the flowers and then put them in there. Isn't that cute? So I think all of those will go adorable in this notebook that I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, then I got, I, I am so, I'm so sad because I, I'd noticed this on the last video when while I was doing it. But this is from my uh, friend, Tara. We have, um, we communicate quite a bit. And she sent me um, a lovely card. And interestingly, Tara, I, I will reach out to you. You'll know this before this airs. When I got the card, let me show you. When I got the envelope. The envelope came, it was, you know, sealed shut at the top, but on the back, this was sticking out, kind of like that. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. Maybe she did that. Well, when I opened it up inside here was this adorable piece of crochet. When I read her note, she had had these all adhered to her card. This is the only one that's in there. So my guess is, I don't know if, if it just ripped in transit and they fell out. Um, but, oh, somebody worked so hard. And Tara, I mean, I do not know how to crochet, so I even love that even more. And uh, uh, you just never know with a post. In fact, speaking of Australia and kind of mishaps, I had said in one of my previous videos, I had gone to the post office and the gal said, I don't know if you can send this to Australia. They have kind of a band. Well, I sent it anyway to one of the participants. And while I was gone last weekend, uh, my son said, Mom, this came back. And so they wouldn't let me ship it the way I did. So I have to take it to the post office and see if there's an alternative route to get it to Australia. Because uh, I sent Lena's and it went just fine. And then, you know, several weeks later, I can't. So I don't know. Sorry, I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning. I had to have a little sip, sippy. So let's talk a just for a second. This is from my dear friend, Wendy. Wendy is brand new to junk journaling. And I hope you don't mind me sharing. But I mean, she really is, you know, just starting off. And it is, to me, 
Uh, it's just so gratifying to see what she's doing. And she sends me pictures and we chat and she asks questions. And I love that. It is probably one of my favorite things. But um, Wendy uh, reached out when I um, was looking for folks that were new that might benefit from Karen's generosity in gifting her winnings uh, to someone who is just, you know, starting off. And Wendy was one of those recipients. And so sweet Wendy sent me a journal and, you know, she had never covered a journal. It, it appears that she did a fabulous job covering a book. I see that she even made her own signatures and those are, I mean, they are in there. She did a great job. And then she made some of these cute little houses and little paper clips. I have not made these. So I thought that was really sweet. And then she sent me just this cute little pack of all kinds of fun, um, more houses. She made the little pocket, um, you know, and the one thing I, this has got some washi. The one thing I told her is I'm like, just, you know, there is no right. The rules are, there are no rules. And so, um, you know, just take a risk and, and try something. And she's, She's doing it and she's using what she has. And this may be, I don't know. Wendy, did I send you um, Kool-Aid dyed paper? Because if I did and you used it, it's super, super cute. I love your stamps. I am, I'm horrible at stamping. Look at that. And she colored it in and put some lace on it. Adorable. Ooh, that one's pretty. And she put little tiny blings. Your attention to detail is great. Oh, look at this. It's a cupcake holder. How sweet. It almost looks like a shell. We need to put this in our tropical journal. And then she made her own um, library pocket. Brilliant. And then there's another one. Okay, we might have to put these over so we can use, because I think these will be a good size for that. <clears throat> Traveler's journal. And then what else did she send me? A little pocket of love. Oh, that's cute. Best friend is someone who brings out the best in you. Oh, I love these. It's so nice to, to see somebody, you know, finding joy in creating. Ah, oh, look at that. She did one of the pockets, like the three-tiered um, side pockets. That's awesome. And then she did another little tuck. See, Wendy, you're what well on your way to being. Oh, look at that! She made out of just some glad a box, and it looks so cute like that. And it's all about, you know, we call it junk journaling for a reason, right? Because that's it's all about finding things. And let me tell you, I find things all the time. So, Wendy, thank you, and uh, you know, it's people like you who uh, want to learn something new and. Uh, who just kind of dig in and, and try it. And I really appreciate it. So let's get into some goodies. Okay. So this was a cover that I showed you. All it is, is two pieces of wallpaper. It's extremely sturdy. Love it. Well, I mentioned in another video that I have all of these signatures. I don't know what, what I was, I mean, I had no plan. I don't know if it was from when I started journal junk journaling and I was practicing, but I literally have <clears throat> uh, on my project or my rolling card. It's not my project card. It's all my frequently used items. I had all of these signatures and I was like, I have got to use them. Well, they all, I think there's three of them in here and they fit perfectly in this journal. Well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but, you know, it's naked right now. There's nothing embellished in it. But what I decided to do was just do something really simple, and that is an elastic band. This is thick enough that it doesn't, um, you know, it won't tear through. I probably should maybe reinforce it a little bit. But for the sake of saying, okay, here's a journal with some signatures in it. If I want to stick this in my bag and let it get, you know, beat up or whatever, I can and it's as simple as taking that elastic, pulling it around, tying it tight. Now, if I were to normally do this, what I would probably do is punch a hole here, punch a hole here, and pull it through. But these 
I didn't want to cut down all of those <laughs> signatures. So I was like, we're rolling with it. I got lots of wallpaper. We can, we can work with that. So that is one way you can easily do it. And like I said, if you're going to use this and, and, or you're going to gift it, you probably want to put two holes on either side, thread your uh, elastic through those. You could even put, if you've got room, you could even put some eyelets in there to make it, you know, real sturdy. Pull it through, tie it. And I mean, I can keep putting, as long as this cover will hold it, I can continue to put more signatures in there. And I can take them out anytime. Um, I think this is called maybe Midori style. Somebody help me out. I'm pretty sure it is, but um, it's the easy way to do it. So here's what we're going to, I'm going to talk about today. I want you to see this um, because I am going to show you how to, I mean, there's tons of tutorials. I have some other ones on how to actually bind uh, a journal. So I am going to show you how to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about, as you can tell, this is shiny. I'm going to talk to you about uh, what we can use inside of our, uh, inside? How about outside <laughs> of our um, journals to make them a little bit uh, more durable and using items from inside that wallpaper book. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and bind this together. And I have, for the sake of time, I've, although I have moved it around, so let's make sure it's really good. I have marked about an inch and a half on either side and right in the center. And I just make sure I clip these and make sure that they are all really close to the spine. Now, I'm taking one for the team here because here's something that I don't generally do. And everybody is different and it's a it's a matter of preference. But when I'm working in a journal, normally I will pick out my cover. I will um, assemble all of my signatures and I never put them into the journal until I'm done. Be and here's why. Because I learned the hard way. <laughs> I would get into something and I would be like, I really wanted to sew around that page or, you know, whatever the case may be. And so I found that I was just frustrating myself. So I just keep them separate. I embellish each page, put it all together and then sew it. But for this one, I'm sewing it together and we'll use it as is. So for this one, I'm trying something new. I'll let you know how this works out. But this is some of my uh, seam binding that I dyed and it matched so perfectly. This is vintage wallpaper. Uh, and it matched awesome. So I thought we would try it. So underneath here, I just have a phone book. You know, they do make book. I don't know what they call them, but, uh, you can put your book kind of in the middle like that book stands, and then you can, um, bind it that way. I haven't found a, you know, a need for one of those yet. So I haven't gotten one. Now this needle is, ugh. It's not the, gosh, I'm going to be grunting and groaning. Uh, where am I? You probably won't have this problem if you're using a smaller needle. Um, but this is a needle I had handy. Watch me break this. I have to tell you, I, I broke a needle on my, um, on my sewing machine for the first time. Oh, that was interesting. So I'm just going to leave this kind of dangle out here for right now. It's gone through the center. And now I'm going to come around and I'm going to poke it through here. Let's make sure we get it through. And I kind of use, ooh, this is, hmm. Come on. I might have to go off camera here for a minute just until I get it because I want to make sure it goes A through everything and it feels like it, it's off. It is off. Where that hole is. Hang on. See what I was doing right there? We don't want that to happen. And this is not because of... I'm looking to see where that's at. Ooh, this is... Hmm. Kind of nervous about that. It's just not. 
going through as easily. It could be because I'm using the, the cover and it's a, see, gosh darn it. Here, what we're going to do. I, I know this is a risk, but we're going to do it anyway. I'm taking this off so I can... Just the top of my needle. Never fails. This happens almost every time when I'm on camera. Works perfectly when I do things off camera. But I know, I watch enough videos that I know that I am not alone. Oh, come on close. We're going to call it good. I can always undo it if I don't like it. Ooh. There's something on here. Hang on. I'm just taking that. Okay. I have to do this off camera because I don't want to knock the camera and I have to use brute force to get this through there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm working up a sweat. No joke. Okay. Hang on. Oh, I got to put my little things. These are from Bonnie. I keep I keep bringing them out because I'm like, I want to use this for something. I'm pulling. Hang on. I'm just pulling this through. I don't know that it's the, I mean, that there's a seam binding issue because the seam binding doesn't seem to, I mean, it goes through just fine. Um, I think it might be just my needle. Okay, we're going to go now. We're going all the way to the top. So we went through the center, through the bottom. You could do it through the top. It doesn't matter. And now I'm doing it. See, now that one worked just fine. Seriously. Although. There we go. Sometimes it helps if you grunt a little bit. <sighs> Okay, now, as you see, we have that center there. I'm going to make sure it's pulled really tight. Now, generally, if I didn't have the little issues, I would have kept those clips on here um, the entire time. But we had to, what I always say, we had to pivot. Okay, I'm going to turn that over again. And I'm kind of pulling this out of the way from the other one so that it doesn't, so I don't pop the needle through that seam binding. I'm so worried I'm going to either poke myself or knock the camera, something. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. Come on. We're almost there. Oh, it's all about the angle. Where's my front? Right here. Okay, now I'm just going to pull that through, make sure it's tight, which it is. I love that fabric. Oh, I'm worn out already, girls and boys. Just Okay, and then you just kind of pull it tight. So far, that seems like it's working fairly well. Now, if you're just doing a regular paper cover, you're not going to have probably this much of a struggle, I wouldn't think. Okay, so I just, did I go right over left? So I always do right over left, left over right, just to make a nice, fun knot. And then, for the time being, I'm just going to put this in here and I'm going to stick all of that in because I might do a dangle. I might do something else fun and exciting. Jeez. Come out. Worn out. But that's how easy it is to do your do your covers. And then you can embellish here if you want. So the reason that I think this might have been a little bit more difficult is because of this um, plastic that I use. So here is what I want to show you. Um what I did with that cover is I picked this very fragile vintage wallpaper and I will have digitals of this as well. And because it was so fragile, 
I wanted to make it was make sure it was securely covered. Well, these pieces of flexible, I don't even know that it's really acetate. It's really like plastic, come in a lot of, not all of, but a lot of wallpaper books. So this is what I'm using for this. And I have another project to make some other cool little things with them. It works fantastic. Now, I do know for a fact, if you don't have... Um, a wallpaper book lying around. I do know, isn't this beautiful? That's going to be the cover for our Spring Break Traveler's Notebook. I'm going to put this right on top of it. I do know that you can buy it at most craft stores. In fact, now it's been a while since I've been into a Walmart, but uh, I'm pretty sure Walmart even has this plastic. So if you go to like a Hobby Craft or a Hobby Lobby, uh, Joann's, um, they usually have an area that has what's called oil cloth. And oil cloth usually has a kind of mm, fabric backing. The, the, you would use it for like a picnic table or something like that. So we used to use it when we were little on our, um, my mom always had one for when we would craft. And so it's just kind of, um, well, it's like an oil cloth. It wipes off, it wipe, wipes clear. Well, in that section, they usually always have the clear plastic also it's exactly like this and it's it would be for something like uh you buy a piece of fabric and you want to put this over it to keep it from getting icky when you have a kid's party or whatever so it's as simple as uh cutting two pieces of this this was a wallpaper border uh this will also be a digital isn't that gorgeous and so it's just cutting it to size. Now I left on both sides. I know you can't, can, you're not going to be able to see this, but uh, I left when I did mine about a half an inch. Let's see. Uh, no, about a quarter of an inch all the way around where I sewed so that there was no risk in this really fragile wallpaper. Um, you know, getting bent or getting, you know, breaking off. See, like this is already... Um, cut. So when I cut this, I don't know, I kind of want as much of the flower as I can get. So we'll see how that works. But all I did, cut two pieces, cut my paper down to size, and sewed around the edges. Uh, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can hand stitch it and <laughs> just don't use a needle as big as I did. But that's how easy uh, that was to make. And I mean, I just love how this turned out. So, so cute. So that will be our cover when I am ready to work with it. But in the meantime, we're going to get out some goodies. Where is my... Well, I'll show you while I'm looking for my actual journal. How can I lose a journal in like that shorter time? Is it here? Oh, it's right here. So I will be taking this bag, um, kind of, if you watch the traveling crafter video, you know, I usually plan a project and take it with me. So I have this bag filled with little goodies that I think I can have fun with while we're on the road. And then I have my stack of goodies that uh, I have pulled from all the participants from the swap that I think will work in this um, in this journal. And then I also, on Saturday, last Saturday, I did a, I think it was a weekend in the life of a traveling crafter. And I was at the acreage and I dyed coffee, coffee, Kool-Aid dyed a bunch of papers. And so I pulled these out thinking they kind of looked beachy and maybe they will work in that journal as well. So I really don't have much of a, a plan. I just know that I have some things that I want to use. So uh, I do have all of this put together in the way that I want it to um, lay out. Uh, so I left, I think I left most, no, I did flip some of them. This is from uh, Triple V Vintage, some of her beautiful coffee dyed designer papers. And then I just added the, uh, that wallpaper throughout. So it's very simple, it's very naked at the moment. And I leave it like that because when I'm on, when I'm traveling, like I, you know, I get up early. And so I think we should add, though, a couple pieces of that Kool-Aid dyed paper. 
So I have hours, you know, before my children decide that they want to get up and start the day. So that's my kind of quiet time. That's my sit and reflect. I don't know if I want that one yet. I really want to use the orange because this was my favorite from dyeing this. But let's see where this one could go. The green doesn't like that. This was actually a blue um, Kool-Aid but it turned it kind of more greeny. Oh, it might work there though. We'll put it there for the time being. And you know, the goal is to leave this pretty blank because you know, I'm going to have ephemera that I that I get along my journey. I'm going to have tickets. I'm going to have Okay, let help me out if you know, yell stop if you see something that looks like I can use it with the orange, with, use the orange. I think there's a spot for the yellow one. That one, that has orange in it. I don't know if you can tell that. We're doing it. And by the way, this, I, on my video, I had not even, it was raw. I hadn't even um, ironed it, but this is, this stack has been ironed. I like that. And then do we want... Maybe we put this here, because this, this yellow and this yellow kind of clash, but I think they'll be okay if they're next to each other. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you something. Of course, I didn't get my stuff out. But we're going to make it happen. Um, okay, so those are napkins. Those came from, I believe those came from Cheryl. And I thought I would collage on one of these, um, or not collage, I would decoupage it onto one of the wallpapers and see how that works. Uh, hang on, I'm getting my thoughts about me. I also like this. And the other thing, so you guys don't have to listen to me whine anymore, that I did this morning. You know that I've been whining about my doilies. Well, one thing I found on a recent trip to a thrift store, it's called Embossing Arts Paper Lace Ribbon, 10 yards of ribbon for decorating cards and packages. It's from Tang, Tang, Tangent or... Is that really a town in Oregon? I don't know. My friend Tiffany can tell me. And do you say a tangent? Like, I'm on a tangent? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I was trying to say it some other way, but I'm not really sure how. But anyway, I thought this was kind of cool. I haven't even... Oh, it's taped. Ah, oh, that's what it's like. That's cool. And there's the kind of creamy color and the white. So I found that, but then I was like, okay, stop whining about the fact that you don't can't find your doilies. So I made some. Now, I have a video on this. <clears throat> uh, this is a Martha Stewart, uh, I don't know the exact word for it, but it's a doily punch. And so I have all these different designs, and I just used my wallpaper, all the neutrals, and then made a whole bunch of doilies. So at least now... I have some. Uh, so I thought this would kind of be fun just to use one of these in our journal. I'm just trying to figure out. This one kind of looks a little more like seashellish. Seashellish? By the seashore? Okay. So I popped that out too. Uh, let's see. Let's find a page where we can put these cute little. I'm almost thinking it would be cute to use use them on two pages so they're like they, because they're like they look like lovebirds. Maybe they are lovebirds. I don't know. They look like cockatiels or cockatoos to me. Where's my tape? I swear I'm on a mess today, and I am on the home stretch of. Uh, getting all my videos together 
uh, before I leave. So I'm going to put those little tags right in there. Okay, so if you are new, this is um, a quick way to pull off your tissue so that you get to the very bottom layer. And this one looks like, I don't know, is there more than two layers? I'm never, I might have to get a new piece of tape. I was doing something this morning and I was like, I can't believe, oh, I know, I was packaging something up. And I was like, well, I'm recycling what I already received as a package. Is that weird? Probably not, but I don't know if I would have done that, that before I started junk journaling. Okay, so see, aren't those cute? We need one looking at the other one. Okay, so let me just pull this apart. Uh, I generally just kind of pull it, cut it, whatever. Uh, you can, if you have like a water pen or a paintbrush with some water on it, if you want to get really close to your image, then you can just go around it with, here's a water, no, that's not a water pen. I don't know where my water pen is. But you can just go around it with some water with a paintbrush and then it just will come apart really, really easy. But we're not going to do that in this one. Um, let's see where we want those cute little birds. Part of me wants to put it on a page where there's... Like, see, that's good writing space. But on a page where there is some of the writing on the back... But I don't really like that there. Let's find a page. What if we just put it, this would be kind of cute. This is our center. What if we just put each of them kind of right there? You like? I kind of do. Now, I have never Mod Podged on, um, on a piece of wallpaper. So, your guess is just about as good as mine as to how this will turn out. So let me push this aside. I'm just going to kind of tear around our little, I'm going to call them, I'm going to call them lovebirds, even though I know that's probably not what they are. They're probably, I don't know my tropical birds very well. So let me see, what do I, oh, I know what I can tell you guys about. So this weekend, I mentioned in my video on Saturday, we, uh, I was in Omaha, and so I just crafted away why D Dave had a boys weekend, and they went to a tournament. Well, in the late afternoon, I got a... text from my brother and it was the back of some guy's head but in front of that was a tornado like and I'm not talking just like a small tornado like it filled the whole screen and I was like what in the heck well leave it to Iowa weather and the beginning and beginning of March we had tornado and well in and in Omaha too but it never really came to anything there um, must have been building up and making its way to Iowa. And my brother was at, and watching my niece, my brother and sister-in-law, my mom and my dad, um, were all watching my niece at a volleyball game. And, uh, there was a tornado and it actually hit in the town that they were in. Um, my dad said it was like a block and a half or so-ish. I like that. Okay, so what I'm doing is just moving that away. Uh, well, they saw it a block and a half, about a block and a half or two blocks away from where they were. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it hit, but it was it was not good. And um, we have some clients that uh, we did some work for who are just 
dear, dear people. And they live in that town. And so I reached out. They were all okay. Their family was all okay. But um, they had a lot of, they were out helping and um, helping all of their neighbors and, you know, people in town. And uh, it's just, you know, if you don't, tornadoes to me are scary. <laughs> um, like, uh, that's the one thing I have, I am ready. Like, uh, I have a, a place in our basement, which is the safest place for us to be, is in a, you know, lower, lower level, inner, you know, they say to be somewhere inside, away from the windows, obviously, but, um, I have candles down there. I have bottles of water because um, you just never know. I mean, I know I'm probably over uh, planning and maybe that that's good because therefore, if I over plan, maybe that means I won't have to ever experience that. But um, they did have, un unfortunately, um, I don't know what it is now, but they did have seven, seven casualties from that. So it's, it's the real deal. I'm very, very sad. And I think that wasn't the only tornado that hit that, um, it went on, you know, east of that town. And then, um, it did, I think hit another town or two in Iowa, and I'm not sure. That looks super, super cute. It almost looks like they're in a little bird cage. I gotta make sure I got everything, though. I knew in my head this morning that I was gonna do this, but I did not plan. Like, I didn't get all my stuff out for it. <laughs> now, I don't know. Some people don't uh, like the ripple effect in it. I personally do, because I just think it adds texture. Uh, and you probably can't really tell it here because it's still wet, but there's just a few little wrinkles in it. But that's as easy as it gets to Mod Podge. And then when it's all dry, we'll have to set this aside. But when it's all dry, we can start to decorate it. Cute. Okay. Well, let's see what else we got. Let me clean up this mess. Um, let's see. Oh, I know what else I wanted to use. I had, so I think these are all just going to go with me. Somewhere, oh, okay. I have this, and I had, I thought I had another one. Oh, here's another one. Let's, see, I thought, well, if we, if the kids and I go play tennis, I have a little tennis thing. I've got that. So my thought was, what do I have here? I also have that. Well, she's got that. Those girls have their swam and suits on. But look at how cute that would be with it. These, I really think, are pajamas. But they look somewhat... I have this tag that I don't really like. But I thought I could do something with. But what if we use this? Are these girls too tall? I think we can make it work. Cut them out. Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to put that aside. And then we'll use some of this fabric. And I'm thinking... I don't think that that... Um, I'm just going to cut this. I don't think that the traveler's notebook would be wide enough, but it would be cute to be able to put something like this where they could, I could slide it in there. We'll try it on the page and see what happens. Because it's cute and it says, remember this. And that's kind of, you know, vacation memories, right? Okay. Uh, it has not aired yet. Let's see. When does it air? Do I, when does it aired? <laughs> uh, March 25th. I have a sewing pattern video coming out. 
And that's where I found these. I was like, oh, those are very summery. Okay, let's just kind of tear, um, cut around this. You notice I left those words there. Because maybe we'll have to use them. Okay, this gal's sunglasses. She's going to lose just a smidge of them. I'm feeling like we need to use, well, let's just leave it there. Re would rather have it, are they gonna fit? I think so. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta watch me fussy cut. And you remember, I shared with you, I do not fussy cut in the traditional manner. Uh, I usually do what's called kiss cut, and that is just leaving a, tiny bit around it. Now, if I have something like, um, when I, you know, when I make my paper dolls that I have to cut out, um, I do get pretty close to there, to the edge. Um, but, you know, this is like 19, I don't know, 70s. What do you think? Mm, look at, she's got her little Kodak camera there. Better keep that in there. We'll finish this one up, or at least get it to a point where... And I think that it would be cool to add some words. I don't have... I don't know if I have... Well, that's something I can do while I'm traveling, is make up some beachy words. And then maybe when I come home, I can... There's no way I'm going to have time to do it. I have... I am, both Demi and I are like planners, <laughs> and I generally will pack my suitcase like three weeks before I'm ever going to leave. I know, I'm, I've been like that forever, and um, when I traveled, I, you know, I was gone two or three weeks out of the, out of the month sometimes, and so I just had staples in my, not like literally staples, but the staples, like certain things. And I would just come home, I would wash them, and I would put them right back in my suitcase. So it was one less thing that I had to worry about. And then I would just plan my attire for whatever, you know, reason I was going. I think this is really fragile, and I am thinking I'm going to leave them... I don't know. I'm afraid that if I cut in there too much, I'm going to rip this paper. So I might just leave their little arms connected. I think it'll be okay. Because see, even around these feet, eh, it's dicey. Okay. I uh, see. Mm -hmm. Okay, their arms are staying together. She just lost a leg. What are we going to do? We're going to put it on there anyway. Okay. Don't let me lose her little foot. I think that would be just fine. Now, what if we use... Oh, let's get a piece, a piece out and see if... If we can make it work. So let's just, okay, let me move her. I'm going to move her foot up here. What if, this is the one with the shell on it. Will, is this too long? So cute. Okay, so if we close that up, how far is this going to fit out, or fit, stick out? Let's just put it in here. A little bit, but I'm planning on putting some, I think we're just going to go with it, because I like it. I guess we could, we could do it like this, but see, that's too big. No, we're going with my original plan. Okay. So we've got this, and they've got orange on. Oh, this fabric is just, it feels so good. Like, it's so soft. It's cotton, but it... 
Now what if we... I don't know, I'm just gonna stick that there for a second. I had this blue, but that won't quite go. What else do I have? We have some music we could put behind her, behind them. And one of the girls. thinking just like kind of like a clustery type of thing but let's see what else I've got oh 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 I know there's that hang on I put all these little goodies in here all right now we're on to something this I still am not sure it's mesh but it almost feels like it's from like a something that like oranges might have come in or something like that I like that. And then we have these little flowers that we could add to it. Oh, and look, look at these. How perfect can that be? Okay, that's what we're doing. I feel like I need a piece of paper to go. What about a piece of, okay, do I have a smaller one? Kind of got a mess going on over here. Hold it. Hold on. Stop the insanity. It's blue. <laughs> I was thinking we could just use some of that. Hmm. We could also put something on that. We won't have time today, but let's just pull a piece of this off. Why not? Time goes so fast, and I make such a big mess in that little amount of time. Okay, we're going to start from the bottom. We'll just start with Fabri-Tac, and I didn't really... I mean, I don't know that I love the way that I laid this on there. But for the sake of time, we're rolling with it. This should be interesting how this is going to stay on. I don't know if I like, mm. we need glue stick. I'm just putting a little bit of this glue stick on here and I'll see where I want it. Cause I'm feeling like that little, um, we need a button there. Do I have a pink button? Um, yeah, that one would be okay-ish. I could just go with a white. Ooh, this is pearly white. That, and then we could put another, we can put another button down here. Okay, let's get her on. Her, they. I still feel like I need some. This is the one thing I, I love to embellish, but it's the thing that takes me the longest. And I really think a lot when I do it. <laughs> um, I'm going to do it art glitter glue. Like I said, this is so fragile. I don't want it to. Plus, I got to glue her little toe back or foot back on. Uh-oh, what happened there? Looks like we had a little. I haven't used any of this for. Four days or so. And I am staying a little bit away from the edge because 
It does smush a bit. Gosh, <gasps> I'm just dabbing because that seems to work a little bit better. Okay, let's get her foot on. And I left that a little bit. Let's see how this goes. Your little footsie on there. See if I can get it on straight. Did I do it? Look at that. Right as rain. Uh, so, let's see. What else? These little boogers are tiny, tiny. What would it look like if we... All right, I might need... Will that fit on there? I don't really like that there, but I do like it. Thank you, Bonnie, for these. This is perfect. I really want to use one of these yellow ones, but, well, there's no reason that we can't go this way. Cover up a little bit of her. See, then I start to have to, have to think about it. <laughs> We're doing it. So, yeah, I don't have a lot of... Where's the top? Okay. I don't have tons of exciting stuff going on. Just getting ready and packing. one. Oh, you know what I got? This might work. No, it will pop out that pink. We're doing that. I don't quite know where I want this yet. And what about, I feel like it needs a little something behind it. Stop thinking about it. It's not the end of the world if it's not exactly how you want it. Oh, gosh. I think we'll do a couple of these little guys. <clears throat> well, I want to thank you all. We're just going to finish this up for joining me today. And I especially want to thank all of you who are participating in this swap. And I hope that the next time that we do this, some of you who are our subscribers will try it out. It seems to be working pretty well. Um, I'm having fun with it. I can't have those like that. That's going to drive me crazy. So, when, let's see, I know this air Wednesday, obviously. What else do I have upcoming? I 
think I have, I have several, I, um, several of my thrift find videos kind of scheduled out a long way because as you know, I have to put everything away. So I don't even know which one it is, to be honest with you. I need something right here. Um, and then I have a whole schedule for you while I am away and then I will be back and we'll start playing again with some more Wallpaper Wednesdays. I've got to think about this because it, oh me, you know what? I got it, I got it, I got it. Where's my stretch knits only view bikini? We're just gonna put that on there. I might have to, I'm going to come back and put a little distressing on there, but I am going to finish this up, sign off, and tell you again, thank you guys so much for joining me today, for hanging out, and for helping me work on my little beachy journal. Um, this is dry now, so uh, you can see how that turned out. It dries really fast, so now I can put some words and things on it. Awesome. Well, thanks again for joining me, and I hope that you all have a fabulous day, and I hope it includes crafting. But until next time, remember to take time to just be, and we will see you soon. Cheers.